Oh, just another hard day's manual labor in my job as a, a games idiot. Hello everyone, my name's James. This is Extreme Truck Simulator, and my word, check out this dust. Check out my dust! Oh no, it started raining! That's gonna put a crimp on my day. So this is a game which you can download for free from the App Store right now. It's a game that we have been sponsored by this week. You know the score by now, but we always announce up front when we're being sponsored by stuff. Uh, we gotta pay the bills, but we wanna be honest when we're doing it. That is our little motto. Now, what I'm trying to do here is use this digger doodad. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. So I'm dragging up on the stick on the right hand side and then I want to swipe left there in order to, for it to curl around now you can see it curling through the ground there I'm going to pull down and it's going to pull the arm back up again and I am then going to twist my body round and dump it, I'm going to move the camera here, there you go, into the back of this here truck, so let's just do that there now previously I was controlling the truck itself charging it about the streets in order to find this building site, the idea is that you use both vehicles or switch between them, much like you do in things like Farming Simulator and games like that. It gives you access to lots of different tools and lots of different massive agricultural or otherwise industrial vehicles. Um, let me just try and scoop this one back up again. There we go. It's difficult to tell because I can't actually see the scoop going, but handily it gives you a little thumbs up to say your scoop is now full. Crack on, dude. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Now, sim games are very specific and obviously not necessarily for everyone, but they appeal to a very, very kind of hardcore niche of folks who get a real kick out of doing stuff that would be considered by some people like manual or menial labor or boring, but others get lost in the nuance uh, and the like subtleties of what it takes to actually control these damn things. So now I've filled this up, I can move away. I'm going to switch to the truck, which I'm going to use the arrow button in the top right there. Boom, I'm now in control of the truck. And now, let me pause the game, I need to get to the dot. There we go, I'll resume on the map in order to deliver my gear. Now it's currently in reverse, so I'm going to tap the gear stick. Whoops, I've smashed the thing out. <laughs> oh dear. Foreman is going to be cross with me. Oh my. And I'm going to drive back. Uh, and see if I can drop it all off without flipping the truck or otherwise screwing up the mission in some daft and uh, clumsy way. I've seen the menu screen. This is actually the first mission, technically, though I've given it a run through just to make sure that it actually works first. Always worth checking that. There are lots of other vehicles you can take control of. So this is kind of an articulated lorry and the digger that you saw. There's loads of other big rock style chuggy digger things that you'll be using over the course of the game that can either be unlocked through play or of course you can use in-app purchase stuff because it's a free to play game that is how it works uh, it, different weather conditions it certainly wasn't raining when I started this out uh, I can see that there's quite a lot of like draw distance stuff going in only fair to mention that yes there is pop-in going on in there in the background worlds appearing out of nowhere uh, but I think the idea is you're supposed to say focused on the road itself they're more interested in the simulation aspect of controlling the vehicles rather than the world around it, which is basically just, even if you play Farming Simulator, just kind of, this is the box in which stuff happens and the trees aren't as important as the, the lorries. And oh no, see, now that's not the right thing to do, is it? That's just silly. I'm going to switch it into reverse and you know, just pull back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, can I put my hazards on? I'll put my lights on. There you go. There's a concession to road safety that... Arguably, I should have done at the beginning. Maybe I wouldn't have crashed into someone. You can move the camera around instantly by just lifting your uh, hands off the accelerator or whatever and dragging your thumb around, and that way it will show you the stuff you need to see. Now, I need to make sure I get into the right bit here because there we go, there's the turning. So earlier, I just completely overshot the uh, place I was supposed to go and thought, oh, I'll just be able to get in. This is basically Grand Theft Auto, right? Turns out it was not Grand Theft Auto, and I was punished severely for trying to go up the side of a mad mountain. Didn't work out at all. However, here is the end spot. Let's start to end it. And I need to unload the truck. Right, I don't know how to do that. Hopefully it will teach me. How do I unload the truck? Where do I unload the truck? And was I supposed to back into that if I unload? Oh, I'll just do it here. Here we go. So I've pitched that button here. I'm going to twist it, pull the lever, and... Dump all my stuff out. There we go. Is it all coming out? Come on. Full, full dump. Do it. There you go. You can see the level just dropping as it all comes pouring out. There you go. Look at that. Oh, sense of a job well done. <laughs> Results. Level complete. And I've got a random advert for a thing. That's nice. Next level, if you please. 
Let's see what we've got. So you can see out of focus there, in the background, all of the other vehicles you will wind up using over the course of the game. Haven't tried them yet, but right, follow the excavator, drive the arrow, yeah, do all the stuff. Right, let me just check on the map. Where are we? Bop. I'm there, and I need to get to there, so I'm going to hang a left, and then a right. Resume. Got to take this seriously now. This is why these, what these games are all about. Apart from the goat one, which is obviously not what it's all about at all. Hem, hem. But then that was a, a reaction to a trend that was emerging of sim games being, by their very nature, quite serious things that uh, in, are interested in the minutia of the way that vehicles handle. I mean, it started off with a whole truck thing to some degree, but you've always had those flight simulator games that involve dual sticks and you have to wear an actual helmet when you're doing it and get your mate to stand behind you doing traffic control and you know whoa 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 hang on don't do don't do that sorry this is i was looking at how much time had been recorded on the recording i'm making this is the problem of trying to do three things at once see i would have already have been fired from this job being a truckist trucking about the place trucking like mad i'm gonna continue to use truck as a verb in any way that i can Oh, Jesus, look at this. Old cops and a smashed-up school van. This is environmental storytelling. What's gone on over there, I wonder? Look at that. I'm sure that ended badly. This is what I'm going to do. I'm trucking away to exhume the graves of uh, dead school children. What am I saying? I'm almost certainly not doing that. This video's gone peculiar. But that's part of what these things are about, I think. Like... The reason is in games like Elite, for example, the sims where it takes a very, very, very long time to get from one place to another. Part of the fun, I think, of these is as much losing yourself in the lifestyle of the thing that you're doing as it is the actual mechanics of doing it. So the idea is like when you're a trucker or a long haul trucker, you spend a lot of time on the road doing driving, kind of alone with your thoughts. And these games, I think a lot of people find them very meditative, very relaxing, very calming because you're just kind of trucking away, you've got a simple objective, you're going to go and do it, and you can just barrel along and just like let your mind wander a little bit. And I think that is part of the appeal. Even if you're doing like you know, a plane flight sim, if they're trying to mirror a flight that takes like two and a half hours, for most of that time, the plane's on autopilot and you're flying in a straight line. You know, that's how these things work. Hang on, I'm going to go this side of the barrier. I may be wrong. Let's find out. Was that the right side to go on? It was the right side to go on. I am a winner. Okay, now I'm going to get in here and stop. I'm going to stick her in reverse, and I'm going to just neatly go on, go on, go on, turn, turn, turn. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. I'm probably a bit too far away there. I'm still in reverse. Whoops. Even this, this is kind of a mellow version of the uh, steering controls. Like, you can go full manual if you really want to. I haven't done that here because, frankly, I'm juggling too much stuff. Now, if I just go there, I'm just going to put that into its place, and we're going to go forward, a quick three-point turn. Get it out of drive. There we go. Back, 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 back. There it is. See, look at this. La, that. That stuff. Whoa. Well, I was going to say it's perfection. It's not quite. I'm going to switch the vehicles. Here we go. And then I'm going to hit the little controller with the joystick on it, and then I am once again in control of my digger. So I can pull her up, twist around, move around there. I'm going to move the camera to give you a better view of this action. Here we go. And then we're going to go down. And we're going to get digging. Hang on. There we go. There we go. It is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do sort of understand the appeal of these type of games a little bit. They've always baffled me to some degree. And I don't play a lot of, like, Sims. I'm, you know, I'll be quite honest with it. But taking what appear to be initially like oh I didn't get enough there initially like complex tasks and they are kind of complex tasks right and then making them I'm going to have to go all the way out and then go back here there you go and then trying to recreate them means that even doing something as simple as hey I'm going to get this this thing in line I'm going to see I'm doing this wrong I've got to open it up before I go into the ground there we go and just like getting your head around these little subtleties Doing something as simple as digging up a bit of dirt creates a sense of like accomplishment. Hey, hey I've, I've done something right, although I haven't here. Why haven't I? Can I move the vehicle maybe? What, what am I doing wrong? I think I'm probably doing something wrong. I thought, there we go, that's it. 
It says, yes, green. And now, now it's saying go up. Ah, maybe I haven't extended it far enough. Maybe I need to go all the way out there. Is that what I have to do? Well, I think maybe I've... Have I overshot the mark? I don't know. No, suck it up. Go on. Yes. Yes. Nailed it. Yeah, there we go. You see? I can imagine there are people watching going, Why? Are you, what? This is just incredibly tedious. What are you talking about? Um... But yeah, I won't lie. Getting the it's a sort of small achievements. It's the little victories when you're doing a game like this. Look at that. Look at that pouring in. Look at the glory. Uh, I have achieved marvelously. So, like I say, extreme truck simulator. I like the fact that it's called extreme because <laughs> I thought there was going to be like flames painted on the side of this thing and nitrous boosts, but no, it's just just trucking. Um, but you can download it for free from the App Store and I think on Google Play as well right now if you fancy it. It's up to you. Have a look if you want to. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you next time.